Soon in the morning, I'm about to break a day. My head on that pillow while my baby used to lay. Soon in the morning. I really got a lot of motivation from one of Dr. King's speeches. He said, if you can build a better mousetrap, a preach a better sermon, or cook a better meal, even if you build your house in the wood or in the hood, the world will be the past to your doorstep. So I said, if I do a good job and make a good product, people will come. And so far, it's happened. About 11 o'clock, they're coming in. 12 o'clock is crazy. And you made it back, huh? All right, Jack. All right, hey man, how you doing? From then on in, it's, it's a great day. So around 1981, my husband wanted a restaurant. My father-in-law and my husband, they actually were brick masons. They made this themselves. Literally built it from ground up. This is our family business. Our children grew up here. From the time I was a baby, I've been at Bullis. My dad used to carry me around the kitchen fix plates and cook. I'll be here all day. <laughs> I've been working with Bullets almost 20 years. I love it, because I love food and I love people. Bullets is where your family and our family meet together and become one. This is what you call soul food. This is what you call good country cooking, baby. It's like bringing your mother to meet your girl. I brought my mother to Bullets. <laughs> well, it's a source of pride for us. Some of the civil rights workers have met here to talk in this place where the food is good and the atmosphere is good. You know, my father would be proud of me. It was his idea and his dream, and I just wanted to fulfill it. Tired, no tired, whatever, I know. I got people that's counting on me for a good meal, and I want to give it to them. 